Sugars are bad for you. We've heard it a million times, and yet people still purchase sugar-packed products every day. Here now is registered dietitian Tammy Famusa to explain concentrated sugars and what we should try very hard to avoid. So first, what are they? Well, concentrated sugars come in many different forms. So basically, you're talking sucrose, or the sugar that they pull, they extract it out, they purify it, crystallize it. So you got the regular sugar. Then you have fructose, and then you have your hidden sugar type things that you, that you have. But concentrated sweets are basically sugar. So that's, I mean, and, and I have this question asked to me a lot yeah. lately, so that's why I want to bring this up. How much sugar do we consume? Well, 156 pounds a year, and then they were saying that that would be like 31, I didn't find a picture of a 31 pound, but, but imagine like that 31 up. of these stacked up. Now that's a lot of sugar, and so we just, I wanted to bring it up because we need to be more conscientious of about it. You know, we well, don't, we only need about eight teaspoons a day. Which and is a lot less than, than what we are we're consuming. Doing. What are the ones that are hidden sugars? What has hidden sugar? Well, hidden sugars people might not think of would be things like your fiber one bars. These, I think you would know pop tarts have sugar in them. Yeah. But um, high ketchup. ketchup has sugar in it. So the sugars, uh, jellies, peanut butter. peanut butter actually has it in it. And again, I want to remind people, when you're looking at a sugar and you look at the grams sugar, always think of divide by four. So there's four grams of sugar per teaspoon. So if you divide, say it says 30 grams like in a soda, and that's going to be almost 10 teaspoons of sugar. So think about dividing eight, by, by four. four. So yeah, worst offenders. Well, pop clearly pop, you know, is worse. Clearly, and, but fruit juice too. Fruit juice, even juicy and juice. And this says one hundred percent juice. It does, but it still has about three teaspoons of sugar in it. So think about that if you're giving your your child maybe two or three of these a day. You don't want to be doing that because think if you've already had three teaspoons in this little box and they're and they're having a pop tart per day or a fiber one bar and they put ketchup on their pizza. Well, I put ketchup on my pizza, but anyway, pizza so if you put you know things like on that on their you, hash browns or yes, yeah, whatever, exactly. chicken nuggets, so that's what extra, kids. Extra extra sugar you're building up and you want to get it more natural sources from fruits. Okay, yeah, fruits and, and what else? What other? Because obviously people know fruit, but what are I, some other options? Just definitely fruit, increase your fiber by breads. Breads even have a little sugar in it, but that's a natural sugar. So in, increasing your fruits, your vegetables, and your whole grains, and that's going to help with natural type sugars. And this list we're looking at also, you actually say small smoothies or low fat yeah, frozen yogurt. Yeah, I mean I yogurt. put that in. You're still going to get sugar in those too, but they said you know if you wanted to try and substitute something in, then you could do that with uh, trying to get your sugar taste that you might need. We're out, we're out of time. I Main message. All right, message. Try and watch your sugar per day. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're only looking at about eight teaspoons a day, so think about that when you're at the store. Tam, thank you Especially so much. You. I know. All I'm right. Worst offender. We'll be back with the final check at the four.